Welcome to my YouTube channel Bio World. Please subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notification about upcoming videos. Hi, today our class topic is flagella. We will talk about flagella, structure of flagella and function of flagella. So, flagella are microscopic hair-like structures that have a whip-like appearance involved in the locomotion of a cell. Found in both prokaryotes and eukaryotes organisms. Bacterial flagella are a coiled, sharp, bent, thread-like structure and are composed of a protein called flagellin. Eukaryotic flagella is made up of a protein called tubulin. Eukaryotes include protist cells, gametes of plants, and animals which have flagella. Structure of flagella Basic flagella structure is divided into three parts. Basal body, hook, and filament. Hook is a broader area present at the base of the filament which connects filament to the basal body. Filament is a thin hair-like structure arising from the hook. Now cut the flagellum and take a transverse view to see the internal structure of them. Internally a flagellum is composed of nine peripheral pairs of microtubules that we call microtubules doublets. These doublets are interconnected to each other by necks and linkers. There are also a pair of centrally located microtubules. The central microtubules are enclosed by a central inner sheath which is connected to one of the tubule of each peripheral doublets by radial spokes. Such an arrangement of microtubule is referred to as 9 plus 2 arrangement. Eukaryotic flagella is covered with plasma membrane, while bacterial flagella lack plasma membrane. There are also found motor proteins on the tubules of doublets called dynein arms. These arms bring movement in the flagellum. Flagella function. Flagella performs the following functions. They help an organism in movement. Flagella also act as sensory organ in some organisms to detect temperature and pH changes. Few eukaryotes use flagellum to increase reproduction rates. Recent researchers have proved that flagella are also used as a secretory organelle for example, such as in Chlamydominus. If you haven't subscribed my channel up to now, please subscribe the channel and push the bell icon to get notifications of such more interesting videos. And don't forget to like, share and comment.